Hello everybody on YouTube, welcome back to the stream, I am Ebiel, well not stream but video. Uh, we're about to attack with Elite Four, and probably in our Steel Ball run today. So let's get to it, first up is Aaron, a bug type master. For refresh, our team is Galahad, Scarberry, Illuminum, the Metagross, Artoria, the uh, Agron, Lancelot, the Vicario, Morgan, the Wormadam, and Alexander, the Magnezone. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Aaron of Elite Four. It's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain. I'm a huge fan of Bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty, mean, and yet they're beautiful, too. Would you like to know why I take on challengers here in this room? Because I want to become perfect, just like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. I like how all the bug trainers are just like, yeah, we just really like bugs. All right, his dust ox can't do anything to me, so we're going to start setting up our entry hazards. He's got two bug flying types, so uh, these stealth rocks are gonna hurt. And now we're gonna some spikes. All he has is moonlight, bug bugs, Toxic and light screen. This is why I love with Galahad, because he just can't kill me. He can't kill me, he can't toxic me. He can set up light screen, but that won't do anything because uh, four out of six Pokemon are physical attackers. His uh, Drapion. And Heracross are concerning. His Drapion has Earthquake. His Heracross is a fighting type that has Guts and a Flare Orb. And it also has Earthquake. So, yeah. Fun fact, I'm actually planning on doing a Platinum team that has a best on it. Fives, Bug Bush, Shadow Ball, Psychic, Quiver Dance, Flies Glasses? Eww, that's pretty nasty. I was going to probably set up an Autonize, but that may not be a good idea now. Probably just search the channel that well. Eddie Fly is surprisingly not that fast, so we could probably outspeed. You know what? YOLO! Ah, uh, so do use Quiver Dance, but do not have speed. Now it's scary. Now it's scary. Alright, Galahad. You're up. Hopefully you won't die to recoil. Very scary hair across. It's guts flame orb. With facade. And jolly so is Ouchies. Oh yeah. We'll live. But we're going to die in the process. <laughs> we'll live, but we'll die. <laughs> yeah, behold, an actually scary Elite Four. <laughs> Bye, Galahad. It's fine. You did your job, buddy. Can't 
use him. Wait, no. <laughs> If Earthquake. I almost said murder. Wait, what? Wait, wait, that's not correct. <laughs> that's been put stop. Too big of an issue? Hot day, not Stone Edge. Sorry, not Stone Edge. The, uh. Self Rock. Of course, it aided Citrus Berry. Now it can use Acrobatics at full power. Get lucky at the attack. Yeah, that's because it's surprisingly cool. Still upset they got rid of its heal order, but yeah, whatever. Punch it since I back around, honestly. It's got both a scope lens and sniper. Whoo! Whoo, buddy! Alright. So that went mostly according to plan. I forgot about the sniper night slash scope lens combo and Drapion. But we managed to defeat Aaron pretty easily. Read that. Well, that's why Meteor Mash did more. I forgot I had Metronome on Aluminum. Alright, because I kind of forgot. <laughs> I was about to say, like, Alexander can learn Giga Drain? What? Oh, it's more of uh, yeah, I like Morgan's current setup. I'm okay with getting rid of hammer arm for grass knot. Kerma talks earthquake surf. Okay, so her quags are can't do anything to Galahad. So once again, we will be setting up our entry hazards. Especially because her golem had sturdy. Dear God. Her pseudo Wudo has double edge and a head smash and has rock head. Fun. Hyper fun. Well, well. You're quite an adorable trainer, but you've also got a spy. <laughs> I'm Bertha and you scared me. I have a preference for ground type, and that's why you scared me. For ground type, Pokemon. Looks at the whole steel type team. <laughs> oh, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? The one thing that I don't like about Bertha's design is because she looks like a kinder, nicer Agatha from Canter.
broke off her Sudowoodo has low kick. That is not great. <laughs> First up, stuff rocks. Uh, three layers of spikes, because your Quagsire can't do much to me. Okay, that did a little bit more than a buck plus, but eh, it's fine. She runs a belt. She runs belch on her wish dash. That's cool. Super cuts of grass type attack. Uh, second layer of spikes, I believe. I feel like we could tank one more surf. I will always use Surf no matter what. But hey, now I can use Earthquake. Still can't use Toxic or Recover. But in theory, this Grass Dot should kill. In theory. Yes. Alright, Metronome is activated. So she sends out Wish Cash. I think we'll one shot Wish Cash. Rindo Berry or no. Shot Golem, 100%. And Sturdy has been broken. And she does have a jolly nature, so that's scary. And we're faster. Yeah, let's keep this grass dot train going. The only way it could outspeed me is if it uses Sucker Punch, which will hurt, but we should live. And she cannot go for a Sucker Punch. Probably would have went with Flick Punch. Unfortunately, despite moving like mad in Scarlet and Violet, Sudowoodo, not that fast. Wish cash. Alright, quadruple weak. Metronome boosted. Weakened by spikes and stealth rock. This should kill even with the berry. It did not. Holy crap. Oh, the good news is that we won't get the speed drop. It has Bulldoze, Ice Beam, Belch, and Hydro Pump, so I'm not going to be taking too much damage from this thing. She did not decide to pull the sword. Interesting. Alright, all that's left is her, uh, Paladon. Oh, 
Luther has been defeated. Well, dear child, I must say that was most impressive. If Pokemon believed in you and did their best to earn you the win, even though I've lost, I find myself with a silly grin. Alright! Quite something, youngster. I like how you and your Pokemon earned the win by working as one. That's what makes you so strong. <laughs> I think that you can go as far as you want. Woo. Okay! Bertha? Not that bad. The next trainer. It's going to be a problem. Uh, I will be back chat. I really gotta use the bathroom. Alright, I'm back. Okay, so, Flit's team is nuts. <laughs> I think I'm going to, uh... Uh, even with all of us, I don't think our target here will survive. <laughs> nope, we'll gamble on the, uh, Stone Edge. That's so, that is a line that one should not say. <laughs> Also, his Steelix has sheer force life orb and nothing but moves that had secondary effects, so good god. Yeah, we count the days of my fingers waiting for you to come. I heard of a Faulkner did the Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. 
How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? His low punny has both high jump kick and fire punch. And they're all jolly, adamant, timid. Oh, his infinite has a focus sash. Oh, fudge. Okay. Let's we'll do a little bit of switching, but uh. Alright, stone it, let's go! My Iron Tail. Heck yeah, we gambled and we won. Honey, that's fine. We're going to send out Galahad so we can get some stealth rocks up. That way we can break his Infernape's focus sash. It's fine. We have Sturdy, so uh, we could definitely survive. And to be fair, our physical deficits are pretty high. Hey, we got a defense boost. Heck yeah. Question is, do I want to lay out my spikes? Sure. Actually would have done a lot more than fire punch. I got lucky with that friendship thing there. And because it's high jump kick, he crashed. Yeah, okay, so luck played into that one. That actually probably could have killed Lance a lot. <laughs> Definitely keep Lancelot in because we can actually one shot his Steelix because the Steelix does not have sturdy, which makes doesn't matter because we got our entry hazard set up. Driplum is very annoying because it's got strength set, minimize, baton pass, and will o -wisp. I don't know if I can outspeed because it's got timid and uh, yeah, so. Let's just use lock on. Oh, cool. It used will o -wisp. And yeah, it does get faster. The reason why I went with lock one is because I was wondering if it would use uh, minimize because lock one will guarantee that you will hit every time. 
on the next attack. So that's why I'm just gonna say screw you, Zef Cannon. I don't care if you burn me, I am a special attacker, sir. I like the sound of Zef Cannon. Holy moly. Ah, oh, yes, I healed for my burn through sheer, utter willpower. Wow. Uh... Yeah, we'll go with aluminum, because we have some headbutt. We probably will not outspeed his infernit, because it's jolly. It also has Bach Punch in close combat, but we should be able to be able to survive either close combat or fire punch. The good news is that it's Focus Sash is broken. Stealth Rocked, and there's Spikes. Woo! Woo, that did a lot! Oh man, I'm glad I did not get crit. That probably would have killed me. Alright. Down goes Flint. Whoa, I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't looking down on you, but I didn't think for a second that I'd lose. This is fantastic. You and your Pokemon are inspiring. Whew. Burnt right down to Cinders. Buys all these full restores. Haven't uses a haven't used a single one yet. All right, Lucian. Oh, has Mister Mime has filter. Uh, Use the power screw. Effective is with 25% and has light screen and reflect and light clay. Son of a god. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just try leading with Artoria then. No, we'll do Lancelot. Shadow Ball should. While it will be reduced by a bit, it should hurt a lot. Though I could probably put a choice back somewhere. You know what? Yeah, Lancelot, give me your plate. Here's some glasses. Let's go. CA was just like, yeah, you know what? A lot of people have been complaining about Elite Four not being too hard, about being easy, and we learned that uh, Gen 4's Elite Four put the fear of God into people, so let's just make them even more cracked. Ah, you timed your arrival well. I just finished reading your book, you see. Let me introduce myself. I am Lucian. Lucian, I am a user of psychic types. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. You say I am the toughest of the Elite Four, but I am afraid I will have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. So, every other not that bad. Oh, you should see them on our rematches.
Alright. Ooh, flash cannon. Get stabbed. No, Mr. Effort is normal type, so yeah, we'll just use flash cannon. Screw it. Boom! Woo! Heck yeah! <laughs> Filter did nothing for him. I keep forgetting, I am close to level 70. <laughs> Medicham. Oh, his Medicham is brave nature. That's not bad. That's good for me because that means it has minus speed. Debut. You know, props to Lucian for having a psychic type that's immune to ghost type moves, whereas with Will in Gen 2, where Giraffe debuted, did not have one. After using a Giraffe I actually don't mind it. Listen, Morgan's not the best bug type, not to mention. Even with stab, super effective silver power, bug bite still isn't the best either. Use up your full restores. My god, Morgan refuses to get hit. She wants this giraffe dead. Take out this Alakazam. You have signed your death warrant. What should I do? Jarball, Earthquake, Payback, and Trick Room. Why? Why do you have Trick Room on your Bronzong? Oh, yeah. I don't really use the choice items a lot, but, uh, glad I got the choice specs. Alright, Lucian is down! Woohoo! Congratulations, you've now beaten Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. There remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. There she is. going to keep Lancelot with the choice specs. Let's see Cynthia's team, shall we? Well, I don't think her spirit tube could do much, so it's time to lay out the carpet. 
the uh, Legos. Her guard shop is scary. It no longer has a uh, Dragon Rush. Instead, it has Dragon Claw. But it also has a Yachi Bear, which decreases the power of Ice type moves. Yeah, I, th I think we're good, chat. No one has uh, a focus sash, so. There we go, last fight of the run. You've been keeping well. Thank you for Map Coronet. I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you triumphed over any personal weaknesses, too. The power you learned. I can feel it emanating from you, but that's enough talk. Let's get on why you are here. As the Pokemon League champion, I accept your challenge. God, you're hot. Listen, I am a Fantina fan, but I will not deny that Cynthia is also really hot. <laughs> Honestly, we're in the same level range. Galahad's going to do what he does best. Throw Legos all over the place. Oh! God! That did a hundred damage! I forgot, Steel don't resist dark type moves anymore. Remember when I said, oh, it's Spirit Tomb can't do anything to me? I stand corrected! So we're gonna go out doing damage. Oh, I only did half. Hold on. I don't have any very tight moves for this thing. Do I go with the 90 or do I say risk it all for the 120 50 accuracy snap cannon? Or go lock one and pray that we survive. Well, we have. We actually move faster. That was the correct decision. Damage? That ain't too bad. I think it left over is healed up, but she won't use a full resource. That's good. Oh, come on. Oh god. 
Oh, uh, please live a little. Never mind. Right, it has expert bell powers up super effective moves. Uh, three max revives. We need a little bit of back. <laughs> So there's a reason why people said that. Wow, I'm gonna survive that. That's cool. There's a reason why people said that Cynthia is the scariest champion. Personally, I think Iris in uh, Black and White 2 on challenge mode is a lot scarier. Survived from 3 HP to 1. Friendship coming in clutch. We can now heal. Uh, Galahad up to full, and this uh, Rose Raid is going to have a very bad day. Special attack for speed. Him and lowers attack, physical attack for speed. Coat. But the downside is, is that if she survives, no matter what, she's going to get that defense boost. Uh, Thunderbolt! Oh, she wants Scald. Perfect. It did not kill. Will the burn kill her? It did not. Okay. Just gonna full restore. So we'll just lock on so we can go in with a zap cannon. Love my little tick, but my god, are you beefy. So unfortunately, she will get the burn at the end. She has more of a scam where, uh, her defenses go up if she uh, has uh, status affliction. Go for the mirror. Scald does a lot. But so does a 150 stab magnet boost its super effective zap can. Sixty-eight Lucario versus her level sixty-three Lucario. Who will be faster? Her. Cause timid, of course. Oh God!
shoot and kill? Good. Whew. I can't remember the last time I was put in a corner like this. <laughs> and now her, her face. Okay, Garchomp should definitely see the kill with Earthquake. That's good. That's fine. Please don't use Sword Stance. Bad news is... Oh, wow, that's cool. I don't think Lancelot's going to survive an Earthquake. because it's a jolly nature. It's going to outspeed me. <laughs> Hot dang. Darn, her guard chops a female. Can't use a track. What the? Hold something, chat.
Sorry about the chat. Turns out my 11 o'clock appointment showed up just now. <laughs> Alright, Alexander died. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think Lancelot's gonna survive an earthquake. Maybe friendship will help. But a power of friendship, I hope we survive. They get a dragon pulse off. Friendship did not come in clutch. What is okay against Garchomp? Uh, grass is normal. Ground is normal. Psychic is normal. Steel is normal. <sighs> Let's do steel. We'll have stab. Oh, goody! Sword stands. Now I definitely won't survive the next earthquake. Give me that crit. Darn. Right, she's got rough skin. Attack boost? No. Okay. I want this and yet this brush is too fun to let it be easy. Uh, half HP. Got plus two to attack. Oh yeah, there's no way. This is going to sound really weird, chat. I think Galahad is our win condition. Two people with sturdy. Do I revive? Because if they're slow, Artoria is slow. Earthquake would knock her down to one. But if I attack with either Iron Head or Shadow Claw, she's about at half HP. She has. Dragon Claw, Earthquake, and Poison Jab. I sincerely think Galahad is our win condition. I now I regret not putting Dragon Claw on Artoria. She used one to full restore already on Milotic. Pretty sure she has two. So we're going to use items that I have not ever really used before. With this, she can only use Dragon Claw. And sword stance. Downside rough skin, and I have two contact moves with one of them being recoil. Let's see how much plus two dragon ball hits. Okay, yeah, that hurts. And of course it avoided it.
Well, it's not very effective. Oh dear. Plus four attack. If I get the defense boost from Steelwing, I will be very happy. Whoa, wow, that did a lot. Ago, you were the most powerful challenger, and just now you became the most powerful of all the trainers. You are our new newest champion. Oh! That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power, and you guided them with certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon could overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in a crowding of Sinnoh's new champion. Now then, step onto the lift. The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Maria, your last battle was splendid. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm, the child I enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness their crowning achievement. Maria, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown to a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Step this way, please, Maria. Professor Rowan, I need you over here as well. <laughs> Cynthia's stronger rematch. Her Pokemon are level 84 to 88. Uh, uh, yeah, how about no? <laughs> It's been a long while since I last entered this room. The last time you were here when I was when I became was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. Maria, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. What you're leaving are the memories of your adventures so far. It's time to record your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember your Pokemon partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. So I delete the save file and start a new one. Whew. He beats Shining Pearl with an all steel type team. That was 20 hours? Wow. Huh. 
<sighs> Just gonna chill here, bask in the afterglow after beating this game. With an all steel type team. Good job, me. Good job to my team. Yeah, oh, I'm a little overpowered. Kurtz almost destroyed my Cynthia. I had to whip up the X attacks and X defense. <laughs> I don't care if there's people with the oh my god you cheat is like listen this is a nuzlocke. This is just a challenge run for me because uh, I didn't finish platinum with my steel type team. You know, if they do a remake of Gen 5, which I hope they do, uh, give me more po Pokemon games to play on this, please. Um, I do hope they will take inspiration from BDSP and make it where you can change outfits for the main character. It doesn't have to be full-blown customization like uh, Swish, but I definitely don't mind the different outfits like BDSP had. So hello, Fentina, my love. I'm just gonna say this now. The chibis are fine. End of story. I thought they're cute and endearing. Hi, Aza. I killed you. My only complaints with this is that it really needs to fix the movement on the analog stick. It is fairly janky. Other than that, honestly, I think it's fine. I liked Diamond and Pearl. I liked Platinum. Do I prefer to play Platinum? Yes. The end. I'll check. I got two hours of streaming left.
Uh, before it was the Wii, now it's the Switch. It's the latest game console, Nintendo Switch. Man. I'm sorry, Lancelot, you were so useless against Cynthia. <laughs> it's okay, I kind of expected it, though. Good job, team. Mario Gita came looking for you a while. I don't know what it was about, but he was shouting about you needed to get in on a ship at Snowpoint City. You know how impatient he is. He was gone before I could ask. Anyway, how's it going, kid? Is your project Professor Rowan coming along? That's a good question, Mom. Uh, 148 out of 150 seen. Still need Azelf and Uxi and Mesprit. That's all. That's all I need. I could have just done it for my box. Well, chat and YouTube, I think I will end the stream here. Granted, we could go to the battle zone, but I'm not up for that. The plan was to just beat the Elite Four, and honestly, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I got about two hours of streaming left, so might just switch over to Scarlet. Or I might just end it here and just go flake for a bit. Well, for the YouTube people, I'll be ending it here. Thank you all for coming. Feel free to like, subscribe. If not, that's okay. I mostly use YouTube for uh, archiving my Twitch streams. But uh, yeah, we did it. Steel Ball Run is done. Will I play this again with a different team? Yes, but not in the future. Not not yet. Not till then. Bye bye. Follow me on Twitter at Gaming and Twitch at Seven.